everyone, this is regular Michelle coming to you again with another Random Talk Sunday. And today for this video, I thought it would be interesting to briefly address the history behind Thanksgiving. Since in the previous month, uh, there was a minion who discussed the history of Halloween. Um, uh, the history of Thanksgiving I find to be actually rather unique compared to the history of Halloween. And uh, I think there's actually a lot more context in particular for this holiday as opposed to Halloween, which is based more around myth and legend. Um, whereas Thanksgiving focuses more on culture and traditions. So without further ado, I'm going to sort of briefly address things that I found to be interesting that uh, reflect this topic and how I think these things still sort of remain relevant today when we celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, the uh, important element of thanks that is in the title of the holiday itself, Thanksgiving, um, was very important to a lot of Native American tribes. Uh, there was a huge emphasis on giving thanks to a good harvest, to um, being able to survive and thrive, um, thanks for, uh, for, for birth. Um, there, there was a lot of um, appreciation uh, within Native American culture for uh, nature, and uh, a lot of that has to do with food, uh, as well as things like uh, having children born and having sort of peace and prosperity. Those uh, elements of appreciation really uh, were incorporated with uh, a lot of the tribes throughout the years. Um, you could, could say you could say that before and after the pilgrims started uh, coming over. So this uh, importance to the Native American cultures, I think, very uh, significant to this holiday because usually we associate this holiday with Native Americans and consider them as um, part of this holiday and play an important role in uh, associating with the holiday, especially when it comes to uh, uh, America in particular, since they were the first real inhabitants of the land. So uh, it, it, that's, I think, something that's very interesting, and I actually didn't even know about it. I didn't even know that was really a huge emphasis, um, but it was, and uh, I'm sure still remains today. Um, and uh, the pilgrims also held this tradition as well of being thankful, um, but it was more in line of the context of religion uh, as opposed to the Native American culture um, because, uh, again, the pilgrims were fairly religious um, and uh, really uh, honed in on this aspect of thanks and the thanks was more to God um, and to what ultimately he provides to the pilgrims. Um, that's sort of the, their uh, understanding of thanks and why it is important. Um, it's sort of giving appreciation to um, a deity uh, as, um, as opposed to, I think, Native American cultures, which are not as distinct as uh, the pilgrims' culture, which is primarily focused on the Christian God. So I think that's something that's also fairly unique and uh, something that I think is common to all cultures is this sense of appreciation, the sense of, of being part of a community and being able to um, have something to look forward to and uh, aspire to be because of all of these things that ultimately end up being provided to them. And I think that's something that's very unique to Thanksgiving. So um, both of these cultures really do play a role and sort of makes sense that we would associate these two cultures sort of coming together and sharing that uh, understanding of thanks. So um, what is considered the first Thanksgiving is the three-day event that happened in Plymouth in 1621. Um, but there are some who say that there's been other gatherings 
um, that have happened previously either between pilgrims and Indians or just pilgrims or or just Indians. So really it's hard to say what really what who, really what was the ultimate first Thanksgiving because this this holiday um, Thanksgiving in particular is very sporadic because it's it's not really a necessarily a unified um, holiday in that sense, uh, especially when it was sort of starting up. And as it sort of continued on through the generations, it kind of just came in and out of being celebrated or recognized or um, or not noticed. So it, it kind of goes through these um, valleys of, um, of interest. So that's something that I think um, is important to understand because uh, there was a lot of different um, cultures obviously coming into the United States throughout the years. So it kind of makes it difficult to ultimately unify everybody to um, to recognizing Thanksgiving as a holiday, really. So, uh, it, so that's, I think, uh, what made it fairly complicated. But ultimately, Lincoln um, uh, decided to make Thanksgiving a national holiday. And um, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that everybody celebrated it, but um, it was the first time where Thanksgiving was sort of a, a part of American culture. Um, it became something that finally was recognized by um, someone of a uh, huge following and um, high recognition in the uh, American government. So um, I guess to have somebody of that stature finally say, okay, you know, we're, we're going to finally, you know, say that this is an official holiday um, and uh, make it sort of part of our culture, I think, uh, I think is what really um, drew people into uh, accepting the holiday and uh, sort of taking the holiday in, um, in a serious respect, uh, especially considering the fact that um, it was sort of declared during the time of uh, the Civil War. Um, but uh, the, uh, the interesting thing too about Thanksgiving is, is, is that um, the food that is offered on Thanksgiving, we usually traditionally think of turkey, pumpkin pie, cranberry, um, uh, this, this cranberry dish that they serve, um, cornbread, you know, just um, partic in particular vegetables. Um, those are usually the traditional foods that we associate with when it comes to uh, Thanksgiving, largely in part because, again, that's what um, that was the food that was usually common during the time. Uh, I wouldn't say pumpkin pie, but I mean pumpkins were fairly common. So this uh, and uh, and are sort of um, a sort of a, a staple like like the turkey. You know, it's uh, th those things and those things. I think were really a, a huge part of survival for um, Americans throughout the ages and were sort of part of that traditional. Uh, set up of Thanksgiving. But as the years went by and as there was expansion, um, there were a lot of different foods that sort of came up as being part of Thanksgiving. And now it's pretty much open to whatever. Some people don't usually um, celebrate with the traditional foods, but uh, I think a lot of people like to because it sort of brings in that sort of kind of unity. But I think there's some uh, households who stray from this and um, focus more on foods that are part of their culture. Uh, for example, in the Chesapeake Bay Area, they had crabs as sort of an aper aperitif to the meal um, because, again, since they were by an ocean, they would have crabs. <laughs> so, again, it, it really all is dependent on sort of locale as well as, you know, the, the sort of traditional um, makeup that we, uh, like to have Thanksgiving as. So, 
again, there's sort of this back and forth um, between the tradition as well as um, what's part of the location and what's sort of part of the the culture within each area of the United States. But again, there is sort of a commonality to have um, turkey, pumpkin pie, um, uh, the, the cranberry dish, um, uh, cornbread, even maybe even just corn itself, other kinds of vegetables, you know, there, there, there was just a huge, uh, there's just a huge emphasis on those in particular because they do, um, they, they are associated with, um, what was around during the earlier stages of Thanksgiving. And uh, I think that's something that's very interesting and uh, is very uh, important to the holiday. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention is um, that uh, the first technically Thanksgiving, the Plymouth 1621 uh, celebration that I mentioned, uh, involved the pilgrims as well as a, a tribe called the Wambatanaug. <laughs> I, I am probably butchering that name, I apologize, but uh, those were the two groups that ultimately ended up coming together celebrating this feast. Now, as to the context as to exactly what took place, um, that's hard to say because, again, we don't really have a huge amount of record as to what exactly took place, and we don't know, We, I mean, nobody was there, so... Uh, that's, I think, alive. So we really can't ultimately uh, determine, I think, uh, w what was really involved. But I think from what I can say, it does seem like it was trying to be this, uh, be this commonality and infusion of cultures. Because on the one side, we have the Native Americans who do... Um, have this sense of appreciation within their culture and um, honors uh, these uh, honor these uh, successful harvests and this prosperity that they have. And it's sort of the same with the pilgrims, but in a different uh, light since they are of that Christian faith and have that uh, background to them. so and use that as a means to, uh, show thanks for what they ultimately have and and I think it's nice to see these kinds of things sort of infused together um, and again I, I know that that history is not always as rosy and full of sunshines and rainbows as we like to think but I do feel like that there was this sense of of commonality uh, and there was this uh, bond that I think was ultimately um, crafted by this holiday and I think as a result it's definitely a holiday that I think needs to be put on the map a little bit more and appreciated a little bit more than what it is especially since it's so unique to America and the fact that you know we have football that plays on that day and you know there's just so much associated um with Thanksgiving and uh it'd be nice to see the holiday uh a little bit more uh appreciated. I, I mean, I, I think we just like to go straight into Christmas and not think about Thanksgiving, but I think it's important to think about this holiday within the month of November because it's really the only thing that happens in November, so, at least for, for me being an American. So <laughs> I think it's just nice to just have this holiday, just to just eat whatever and, you know, just, just, just have a lot of fun. And, and I think it's just one of those things where you, you, you do kind of, uh, you know, look back onto the things that you have and, you know, regardless of what, whatever culture or belief system we have, I think the, the idea of, of being thankful is something that we can all, um, embrace and, uh, and have a, uh, and, and really, uh, and really get together for. So, uh, ultimately, I think, though, that's really all I can say about this holiday. But if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day, week, month, and year. 
and uh, I look forward to the next video.